Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will discuss about what are the various uh, different uh, test documentation which we normally do in software testing. So I am also going to give with examples how these different test documentation or test artifacts will look like whenever we are trying to create software. So we will be using these documentation. These documents really help us to make the right planning in terms of uh, testing procedures reviewing the testing procedures and executing the testing aspects in a very easy and simple manner. The first document we normally create as part of software development life cycle is test plan or a test strategy. This is the first document normally we created from the testing team perspective. Basically in this test plan or a strategy First thing we will define what are the different types of testing which we normally execute whenever we are certifying a given software like uh, different types of testing could be your unit testing which is normally done by the developer or could be a testing team and we have functional testing, system testing, these are uh, non-functional testing like load, performance and stress testing and there is a regression testing is also being performed and the user acceptance testing will be done by the business uh, users. So these are the different types of testing which we adopt uh, as part of uh, any given software uh, certification. Out of these uh, different uh, testing types for your application what kind of uh, testing type are you going to use appropriately? that will be defined as part of this uh, test plan and the second aspect which we define in this test plan is uh, more of uh, the overall uh, testing scope so what we will be testing it and what we will be not testing it that is the things we are going to define in the test plan and also what are the various approaches we will be adopting in order to certify this given software and also we, what are the different resources will be required? It could be your hardware resources, software resources, human resources, all different kind of resource requirements will also be defined in the given test plan. And also any regulatory compliances are there. We wanted to adopt this regulatory to certify your product. Is there any mandate from the government that we have to certify everything you will be defining as part of this test plan and we will also be defining the test pass or fail criteria in this test plan document and also we define what is the entry and exit criteria for every testing type for unit testing, functional testing, system testing, regression testing, user acceptance testing. What are the various entry for every testing type so that uh, it become very easy for all the stakeholders to see where are we really in terms of our testing and uh, where are we in terms of entry and uh, exit criteria meeting as well. And also we will be defining uh, what are the risks and issues uh, normally we will have to take care or we have to consider whenever we are planning the testing cycle. And uh, we will also be defining uh, different test deliverables which will be handing over or we are going to certify as part of our overall uh, testing journey. That is also we are going to define in this uh, test plan and also we will also be defining uh, when we will stop the testing or when we will resume the testing even that also will be defining as part of this uh, test planning strategy. Plus uh, also we define uh, environmental requirement and uh, resourcing requirements are different kind of stops required, different uh, criteria like how many software engineers are required, how many senior software engineers are required, how many leads are required, how many managers are required. Everything will be defined uh, by based on the estimation and uh, the requirements of the given uh, software which we are going to test and also what are the different trainings needs for those stopping people as well that also will be defining uh, as part of this test planning activity. The next thing is the test scenario is the next document we will be preparing and this document is more of a very high level uh, information which we normally we try to gather from the user stories or from the requirements. Basically from the user story we will try to break down further so that we can create various uh, 
features followed by the scenarios which you create uh, to certify the given software. For example, the login functionality that is uh, one uh, uh, functionality which we wanted to create a test scenario. Then what is the test cases? Again, test cases uh, would look like something like this. I have completely provided an example here. Basically, in this test case document, we will be defining uh, the various uh, input values. Here, input values are nothing but a test data. And uh, preconditions are a prerequisite uh, we will be using to test the test cases. And also we will be defining the expected results and also we will be defining the actual results uh, as part of this uh, test case documentation as well. The complete all this information normally will be derived from the test scenario and uh, user stories and different clarification which we get from uh, various stakeholders. And also we will be creating as a test data is also another test deliverables which we normally create uh, which are in line with the user stories or requirements in order to execute the given test cases. For example, user IDs, password, we can have different set of uh, test data which we, cre which we can create as part of the test data creation process. Again, this will be in line with uh, mimicking the user stories with the real time data as per the given requirement. And the next test deliverable which we create is a bug report or a defect report. The bug report when we create or defect report when we create is whenever we are doing test execution, whenever we find issues or errors, that is the time we will be raising this bug or defects or we are going to create these uh, bug reports just to capture all the relevant informations so that uh, someone can fix these issues as quicker as possible by providing the detailed information with the detailed environment as well so that uh, anybody can go through this uh, detailed information so that they can reproduce the issue plus these uh, defects or bugs can also can create a history of uh, information so that tomorrow if someone has to do a postmortem they can easily assess which area was very stable and which area or which features are not stable. They can easily assess using these uh, different bugs or uh, defect reports. And the next type of uh, test documentation is test summary or a test closure report. This is the last document which we normally created by the testing team. Basically, so in this uh, documentation, we will be giving a complete summary of uh, testing activity which we have done earlier and completely the results of those testing activities also will be defining in this summary or test closure report and what are the various incidents or defects or bugs we are going to log as part of the overall testing journey and out of those which are resolved and which are still unresolved everything will be defined as part of this uh, test summary report and also what is the recommendation from the testing team side so that uh, whether we wanted to go for the given release or we are not going to uh, certify the given release everything will be defining as part of this test closure report. Uh, these are the various uh, different test documentation which we normally create as part of the testing activity. I am hoping uh, you guys got a clear idea now. If you guys really like this video then please give a like button. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.